Now, in commemoration of Dr. Jose Rizal's 125th year of martyrdom, the Department of Science and Technology unveils the Dr. Jose P. Jose P. Rizal, the Filipino scientist's 12.5 feet statue. It's the first 3D scanned and 3D printed monument of the national hero built in the country using world-class technology of the Advanced Manufacturing Center of the DOST MIRDC. Now, joining us tonight to talk more about this innovation is Science and Technology Secretary Fortunato de la Peña. Thank you for being with us, Secretary. Secretary, as we all know, 3D printing is not yet a common technology here in the Philippines, unlike in first world countries like the U.S. and even China. But why and how did the DOST come up with the idea of creating the Jose Rizal, the Filipino scientist, the 3D printed statue? Well, first of all, the idea of uh, having a team uh, on science uh, during the 125th death anniversary of our hero uh, came about uh, during uh, my attendance to the 2019 uh, Rizal, uh, uh, Rizal Day celebration at the Luneta. And I suggested that uh, perhaps when he when during the 125th uh, anniversary, we can focus on the team uh, Rizal as a sci Filipino scientist. And uh, last June, uh, uh, June 2021, this year, we inaugurated our uh, advanced manufacturing center that uh, that uh, we have located in uh, the Metals Industry Research and Development Center in Bikutan. So. Uh, somebody mentioned or uh, one of our um, uh, agency directors said that uh, in the U.S. they have already 3D printed a monument to the uh, we pioneering women in the construction industry in the U.S. And why not uh, come up with a uh, 3D printed statue of Jose Rizal? We approved the proposal and by September we were already planning it. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the approval of the National Historical Commission and uh, so within two months we have... Uh, uh, try to do everything from the conceptualization, the ideation, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, we requested uh, Professor Manuel Sikat of the UP College of Fine Arts to design the statue, which basically depicts his Rizal's life when he was in the Pitan, where he really did a lot of science for the benefit of the people there. Secretary, talk to us about how uh, the 3D statue of our national hero was created, and what particular technology did you use? Well, as I said, this is uh, we we used additive manufacturing. You know, uh, when uh, when we create something, usually out of materials uh, in the conventional system, uh, we started with materials where uh, we subtract materials so that we can get the shape uh, that we need. But in additive manufacturing, we develop a uh, computerized model of our design, and then we run it in our 3D printing machine. So at every rotation of the machine. Uh, you add material, okay? And uh, mm -hmm. as you can see in the uh, in the uh, uh, video there, that's how they uh, they have uh, done it. And um, we have actually 3D printing facilities uh, for different sizes, okay? Mm -hmm. So this one is uh, for uh, uh, the big uh, objects that we can create out of additive uh, manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So we used actually a a um, uh, material. It's 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 not metal. It is made of uh, acryl, acrylonitrile styrene acrylate, which is a, uh, uh, a polymer. And uh, however, we put in a steel structure inside the statue and then poured concrete uh, uh, to fill it up. So uh, we designed it in such a way that it can withstand 330 kilometers per hour of uh, wind mm -hmm. and um, even up to uh, 8 uh, uh, eight. Eight intensity earthquake. Secretary, of course, history tells us why we pay tribute to Jose Rizal as one of our greatest heroes and specifically his crucial role to our nation's freedom. But why is it also important to acknowledge Rizal's contributions to the development of science and techno technology in the country through this effort you're doing? Well, first of all, uh, Jose Rizal is a man of uh, varied uh, talents. He's an artist, he's a writer, uh, he and then he did uh, science. And of course, he is a medical doctor who was uh, a famous uh, ophthalmologist. And uh, so we, we thought that uh, this should be an inspiration to our young people. Um, in addition, I think it is very important to take note that uh, Rizal did his science not really for uh, 
uh, for getting recognition or uh, for science sake, he did it uh, to answer certain needs. And that is exactly how we are uh, uh, doing our science and technology work now. We do it uh, to serve the people. We do it uh, to contribute to inclusive and sustainable development. And that's how Rizal did his science. He translated it into something that could respond to the needs of the people. We thank you, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, for your time. We appreciate you joining us tonight.